So I have been looking for a solution to add 3D scenes on my Webflow websites. And I'm not just talking about like a 3D image or a 3D video, I'm talking about actual 3D scenes that's rendering in the browser. And I think I found a really good solution, so I'm gonna share it with you. Okay, so to preface this, I just wanna say, this is not a free solution. I know everyone's looking for free, 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 free. This one's not free. And I'll get into the pricing in just a minute here, but for now, let's talk about some of the requirements that I had when I was going through my search. So number one, I'm a Blender user. I only use Blender. I won't use any other platforms. I don't wanna learn any other software. It must be Blender. Number two, I'm looking for something that actually renders out the scenes on the web so that you can have animations and that also you're gonna be able to add interactions like scroll interactions and hover interactions and that sort of thing. That's very important. And then lastly, I really want this to be a no code platform. I don't wanna learn how to use 3JS. I don't want to learn how to code that by myself and I don't want to hire someone for that just because I don't want to spend that much money on something like this right now so it must be a no code platform so now I'm going to share some of the solutions out there that I found that weren't necessarily right for me so one of the first solutions that I found was a, a software called verge 3d I think I did a Google search and it looked like it had most of what I was looking for but it was 300 bucks and I didn't want to spend 300 bucks so I set that one to the side I also found another software called blend for web which was I thought perfect because okay it's blender and it also you know works on the web it's no code however once I installed it and started using it I believe it was free once I started using it I realized that it only works on blender 2.79 and not blender 2.8 I decided not to go with blend for swap another solution was sketchfab there's a lot of reputable companies using sketchfab I don't remember the exact reason why I said no to this one because this one I had used like six or eight nine months ago and there's just something about it there are a couple of things that I didn't like about it that I couldn't find any solutions for. So Sketchfab was off the list as well. Another solution was Vectory. I think I found that one on the Webflow forms, but usually Vectory, you're actually building the 3D model and scene on their website, and then you render it out through their site as opposed to going from Blender and then uploading it to their servers or whatever. So Vectory was off the list because I really want to build this in Blender. And then another solution is called modelviewer.dev. I found this one through a halftone digital video, there's gonna be some custom coding and I just did not want to do that for this project specifically, so I set that one aside. And at this point, I was just, I was kind of lost. I did not know where I was gonna turn. I was thinking like, okay, this project was a bus. I'm just gonna have to wait till I can hire someone to do this because I don't wanna learn how to custom code it myself. However, I was convicted of my own words. So I tell my clients on a weekly basis, your website is an investment. So that's what I preach. And then I'm turning around and looking at this 3D idea of putting 3D models and scenes on websites, and I'm looking at it like it's just an expense and not an investment. And that's totally the wrong way to look at it. This is an absolute investment into my business. If I can add 3D models and scenes to not only my website, but in the future client websites, that's gonna be a huge selling point because 3D is gonna become just huge in the next five, 10 years. Basically, I, I had to shift my mentality. I, I had to think differently about it. And I started to realize like 300 bucks for Verge 3D, Verge 3D gives me like everything I'm looking for. 300 bucks, a one-time fee, and then maybe another fee to like renew the software um, later on down the road. That is not that much money. And if I can start selling bigger, more expensive websites from it, it's absolutely worth the $300. And also you can download it for free. You can do a free trial and basically upload it to your website. And all you have to do is just pay the 300 bucks to get rid of the watermark. Um, so that's what I ended up doing. I went with Verge 3D and I did not regret it. So right now I'm gonna go through my process for how I actually made the models and then uploaded them to Webflow, just a rough overview. So first thing I needed to do was go into Blender and create the actual scene. I modeled out the, the, the models themselves. I found the Panther model online and then just tweaked it, made it a little bit less polys so that it wasn't as big of a file size. I added some animation, added materials, made the lighting better so that it looks better on the web. And then I did my final tweaks. The cool thing about Verge 
3D is that you can actually preview how your models and lighting and rendering and how that all looks in about 10 seconds. You simply just click sneak peek and it shows you exactly what you're gonna be looking at when it's on the finished website. So once I got all my final tweaks done and all the previewing was ready to go, all I had to do was just briefly upload it to their servers. All I had to do was add a couple of what they call puzzles by adding a transparent background and then removing the watermark and it was good to go. So all I had to do was go into Webflow, add an embed code, position it correctly, and then paste in that iframe code that they give you. And that is it. I actually redesigned my homepage just for this 3D test. Um, so I went in, created a new design, and then added this 3D model to it just to kind of test it out and see how it would look. And I think it's already doing a phenomenal job. I'm um, just raising the bar of my products that I sell. I know this was not a very technical tutorial. Um, if you want more of a technical tutorial, I can make one. Um, but really, I was just trying to share with you my journey and share with you some of the options that are available with 3D because Verge 3D might not be for you. You might not know how to use Blender. You might know how to use some other softwares. Um, I know Verge works with 3ds Max and I believe Maya, but not Cinema 4D, if I remember correctly. So just keep that in mind. Go check out the website. Um, hope you liked it. We'll see you in the next one.